Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender Europe, game designed by Salvatore Basta, published by GMT Games. This is the German Diplomatic Disaster series, uh, the next one in line. We are beginning the turn of December 1940. Um, the weather had already been rolled, and it was determined that it was poor everywhere. And we are now at the declaration of war phase for the Axis. <clears throat> and here we go. Uh, I believe I declared war on Vichy France. Oh, this was me uh, playing around up here. Um, I declared war on Vichy France, so he got that into the Western Allied box. And then he had to roll to see if Vichy would actually set up its units, and he rolled a four. So Vichy will no longer be here. Uh, I think we go around and put, yeah, I just put a bunch of control markers into Vichy. Uh, then we go into, they can't declare war, we go to economy phase. Um, so the Germans are at 28. The, uh, the British, even though they're down two, have three extra factories from Commonwealth. So they're at 20 and Russia's at like 28. They're missing one country yet. Uh, strategic warfare phase. Uh, I'm plus two because of breast, and he's at zero. I went ahead and threw my submarines. I was trying to get ahead of the strategic warfare game here. Six plus two is an eight, so he went up to three lost factories. And then my submarine's not coming back for six turns, so not till summer. So then I started moving. And movement was very specific in order here. Oh, I had to do strategic movement first. Uh, not sure what I did. I'm sure I took one. Oh, yeah, I put the guy in Cherbourg and put him up in um, Amsterdam. Uh, I was worried about... British adventurism and invading the Low Countries. Uh, West and the Soviets didn't have one. Then we went into operations. So I activated this infantry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got those two under control. Oh, that's more to clear the clear the road for me moving other units. Um, and this infantry went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Had to get on the Italian border. Did not want him running in here. Um, first Panzer, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this infantry went down to there. Armored goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Got control of the port. And then I moved that airplane down to Dijon because otherwise I was within seven hexes of London so he could fly an airplane up there and start bombing me, so I wanted to avoid that. And then took that and moved him up to be my reserve up here in northern France. Moved an airplane over to be closer to the Italian border. And 
And then I went ahead and did this assault because he's not in the Italian um, territory, so I can try to push him out of the way. I was at a total net of two for an infantry, plus two for the armor, plus one for a buddy. And then I was minus three, so I was plus two to zero. Uh, I think we went to combat commitment. Both committed. It was kind of an obvious thing. Uh, I went up to I don't think I committed my airplane at this point. Just the tanks marker. Or no, I guess we did do an air, air combat. And I got a 6 to a 3, so I caused him two sorties for my 1. We both got in, so let me reset this. He goes up to 2. One for the tank, one for the airplane. And I went 2 for a German. Two for an armored, one for a buddy, one for the airplane, one for the tanks, and then minus three. So it was plus four to plus two. And he rolled a ten, or I rolled a ten. So that was six plus four. And he rolled a three. So he was flipped and retreated. I took it with the armored unit. And I'm not sure I did anything else at this point. So much. Oh, I moved up my uh, reduced infantry that was in Prague uh, to get it in line. I thought about doing that instead and putting the garrison there. And then I moved the other airplane up to the front. Then I was done. Uh, I went into Western Operations. He moved this infantry up here to get a 3 hex attack on. Oh, I think he was going after my airplane. We were both minus four, so it just came up to... He takes two, and I take two. And... Did the same thing there, and then... Used up his airplanes over here. Oh. Oh, I think we had to roll. I had to roll once for one of his attacks because I could have gotten two Zordis on him, and it just didn't matter. And he brought in uh, the Gibraltar, oh, the fleet that was holding Gibraltar. He sent that around to Cardiff. Airplane into where a fleet is. Dang. Yeah, he put his airplane in with the second convoy. Uh, and then he put a British convoy in Venice. And Desert Force into Genoa. So and 
and then he did his supply, he's basically using the Italian Navy to supply the British. Uh, this didn't do anything with the Soviets, we went into replacements, I brought back my airplanes, I think. Uh, and he does his western. Oh, the fighter got down to three. The fighter should have been at four, so I messed up there. Don't know if we redress that. And I built my next. Oops, going right past the diplomacy phase, which is what this is all about. Uh, mobilization, diplomacy, axis. Um, I didn't have any points. The West pulled and got the last area seized marker. Oh no, he, he just wanted to see what was in there. He put in uh, political success and a no event, I think. And the Soviets pulled a no event. And end of turn phase. It's kind of quicking, quicking along here. Uh, I think once we got, oh, I got another infantry unit I could build. Got his tanks back, and we went to January of forty-one. So now we're in the weather phase again. And a three, four, six. Just move the warm zone into Zavir. And we set the economies again. And Russia should be at 30. Or no, he didn't pull an area seeds, that's right. So now we're at uh, strategic warfare again. There's no modifiers this time around. I rolled a lousy three. He rolled a four, so he got back a factory. Uh, strategic movement. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I moved that garrison into Rotterdam. So, the west. Didn't do anything. Soviets. So, went into operations phase. And I did an assault here. Again, he's on the other side of the border, so that seemed like the thing to do. And we had combat commitment. We both committed. So I was three, four, five, six, minus three. Start off with plus three to plus zero. Now I think we're going to combat commitment. Here we are. We're both committed. Because that region's in poor. I threw in the tanks. And I think he just. Tanks and an airplane. And I did not throw in anything extra. It's so plus five to plus two. I rolled a grand total of nine. He rolled a three. So he was flipped and retreated. And I took the space again with an armored unit. I'm not sure if I did another attack here. Just moved an infantry unit into. <clears throat> From where he was on the Alps, he went 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just to kind of try and cut off this 10th Army out here. And then I went ahead and did an attack. So I was 4, 5, uh, minus 3.
actually it is zero. And I can't remember if he used an airplane here or not. Yes, we both committed our airplanes. I got a grand total of five. He got a three, so he was flipped. And I think... Did I? Oh, I went and... Uh, made the British aircraft go... Um, up to full sorties. And then I made a mistake. I probably shouldn't have done this attack, but I did it anyway. I was plus three, four, five. Six to his three or two. So I was plus three. So I was three, four, five, six, minus two. I should have been at plus four. There I am. How did I get down to plus two? Oh, it's minus three plus three. I did that wrong too. Got an eight to his three. Came out the same. He was forced to retreat. So I had the armored unit move in. Then I moved this armor in. Oh, that's a infantry unit. That's why it was. It's only an infantry unit. So that's why we ended up plus two. And then I moved another armored unit up to get ready to try and kill some Italians. They lost two will points for that. And then I did a you know desperation attack here. Plus one to minus two. Got a four. You got a one. Um, it's halved down here because we're on the wrong side in the thing, so the four was halved down to a two. That's why he didn't get eliminated. And then I moved the Nor infantry off to the east, and this one into the where it belongs, and I was done. And we go onwards here. Oh, now he moves. Italians into the line. Brings the BEF into the line over here. Got the Italian infantry up to there. And then moved uh, the Western Desert Force into. And. Uh, he was he was plus two minus three. He'd be minus one to plus two, and he just said, "Never mind, call it off. I don't want to do that." We were trying to see if he could get a decent attack, and then again the uh, Italians, you know, supply the British, and he's done. And no supply phase. He didn't do anything with the Soviets again, so no supply phase uh, replacements. So I'm bringing my airplanes back up to their four sorties. And replenished my armored unit. He... Fixed the Italians. And then brought up the BEF, of course, and brought his airplanes down. And... Upgrades, there are none. Uh, I built the army. I don't know why I built it in Hamburg. I 
dreams of going after Norway or something. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, diplomacy phase. Uh, the Germans skipped because they didn't have points. The British pulled an area seized marker, so it's the Soviets getting their points and stuff. And then the Soviets pulled again and got a no event. So and we got rid of the other area seats. So there's only a political success and a no event in the in the bucket. And we go to end of turn phase. Da -da -da -dum -da -dum. And uh, oops, not that one faction card. I picked up uh, a couple of infantry units. He got an infantry unit for the Russians. Got back his tanks, and we're in February. So away we go again. And we rolled. It was severe in the mild and poor in the warm and the cold. Um, at this point, I probably should have just skipped this turn and built my surprise attack marker. But I didn't. So we got to economy phases. That's... Why do I have the turn track up? So we just reset our economies. <laughs> Strategic warfare. Again, we're at plus two to zero. And I rolled a grand total of four. He rolled a six, so we swapped positions. I actually lost a factory. You gained one. So my strategic warfare isn't going well either. Um, then I think I moved the Nor infantry up to Bremen. And he didn't have one. Soviets didn't have one. Went into operations. Um, if anything, I should have just attacked this... Uh, Italian down here, but I was trying to get Oh, uh, when I attacked into Italy, we, we forgot to give him his uh, Mediterranean crisis, so we did that. He put him put his guy in Gibraltar, and then he asked if he could swap the ninth in the Gibraltar just for form's sake, and I said sure, why not? And he put the tenth on the border with Iraq. I'm not sure why. And you put this first Syrian in Syria. I don't know why we did that. That was the Syrian army was not activated. So um, I went and flew my airplanes to get rid of the British, and another airplane got rid of the Italians. In poor weather, it's automatic. Though we're both at minus four, we can't hurt each other. So then I attacked with these two guys at the Brits, which was probably, this is where I made a mistake. What I should have done is I should have attacked this guy down here with the infantry and the armor and just waited till next turn to have a 3x attack on this. And I missed this a couple of times. It was just like, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, combat commitment, I think. Well, this is us seeing where we start. Throw in. I got a grand total of seven. He had an eight, so nothing happened. And I was minus plus two for German, minus two for weather and terrain, so it was a zero to a minus two. Both threw in our tanks markers, so he became a minus one, and I became a plus one. 
and I rolled a grand total of four, and he rolled a five, so nothing happened. And again, and then I think I attacked here. So I got this was severe. So I ended up with a grand total of uh, four halved or five halved to two and a half became a three. He got a five halved to two and a half became a three, so nothing happened. And I I think I did it again against the British, plus one to plus one, just trying to get a big split when neither one of us did. And that, I think that's just it. Yep, that was it for me. Um, he decided to do a three hex attack there, I think. Then decided against it because. He just did supply. He didn't do anything, really. He just did supply there. So. And didn't do anything with the Russians. The Germans. Their airplanes back. Down. And uh, he's just replenishing his stuff. He had a bunch of points he didn't know what to do with, so he was just, like, resetting everything he could. Airplanes and naval units and just everything he could. And he still ended up with five. Uh, Soviets didn't have anything. Nothing in the upgrade. Mobilization. The Axis spent two to get their infantry units. I put them over in the east because it's getting close to that time where I have to have... If you look over here in the east, I'm kind of unit poor here, so I need to just start getting some infantry here to stop the Russians when they come in in June. Because I don't see me conquering Italy anytime soon. Oh, excuse me. And then the Russians got to build their guy. I'm not sure where he put him. We went into diplomacy phase. Now there's a 50-50 shot. I think I pulled the... Yeah. Wanted to make sure there's a 50-50 shot that I'll get a political success. So I said, goes for it. And I got it. Look. My second political success of the game. And so I thought about taking out the Turkish plus. But I think in the end I went and put... Is that what I did? Yeah, I got rid of the Turks. Because I did not want to have to deal with Turkey. And I figured, what the heck. And then he did the same kind of thing he did last time. Put the political success back in. Oh yeah, he, he put in a political success on a no event, and the Russians pulled the no event. So we ended up, we have the same 50-50 shot this turn. Uh, and now we're just doing end of turn stuff. Action track, turn track. Um, and then we had a variable entry that we had to do. So he went to, uh, we go up to the corner here. Just, ah, I gotta get rid of stuff. much stuff on me showing here. And so then he had to go up here and he had a variable entry to do. So I think yeah, he put the uh, Oh, I put a, uh, the variable entry. There's a variable entry roll for the British in December of 43. 
Um, and then he rolled for his ultra. And he rolled the attack die, which is three turns. Three turns from March is one, two, three is June. We, we initially placed it in May. It really should be coming in June because we're actually in the March turn. I address that at the next turn. And we go to weather for the next game turn. And it was a poor, 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 I think. Yeah, we had poor everywhere. And that was it. We were done. So, uh, there you have it. That is December, January, and February of 1942. December 41, and or 40, and January, February of 41. A uh, little bit of brighter, brighter spot, but still, uh, Italy's a tough nut to crack when it's backed up by lots of British. Um, because there's no other threats against the British, it's very hard to take them out. So we'll see what happens in March and April. That will be the next series, next one in the series. Uh, until then, I'm Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithms keep my stuff uh, available for everyone to look at. And until we see you again, stay safe and bye-bye.